Ah, uh, Mincemeat Metalworks. Infamously known as the worst of the stages in Splatoon 3, with terrible options in and out of mid, and lockouts beyond comprehension. But today, that changes, for Mincemeat has finally gotten a stage rework. The devs can finally fix the flanks, add more movement options, and they didn't do any of that. An entire rework of a terrible stage wasted on some pretty mutual things that don't really impact the game that much. Ah, <sighs> well regardless, let's take a look at the stage reworks anyways. Subscribe for more Splatoon, and Let's see the new, slightly less terrible mincemeat metalworks. Alright, I'm pretty nervous to see the new layer. Oh my god. What the heck is that? We got the poll update. Alright, let's start and spawn and see what we're going with. Okay, so this wall's actually lowered down now, so you've got this area is flattened. There's no longer a section that goes down here and it's flattened here now. The grate is actually shifted across. You've got more land here to move across and the grate is shorter, which is nice. There's also this spot right here, which is interesting. Nice little snipe post. That can be alright for defenses. There's, ah, yeah, pretty much as expected, a ramp here. So, can you actually... No, you can't make the jump back there. This is the main problem. You still can't make a jump back there. It's still a one-way drop. That's uninkable. Can you, not, can you really not? No, man. This left section's been changed a bit, good bit, and it's very interesting, yeah. You've got more place to stand here. And the truck head's over here now. You cannot make this jump anymore, so that's kind of unfortunate. However, it is, no, you can't even, there's no ramp here. I thought the ramp would be here. There's this section right here now. The whole, like, rubbish area that was back here has changed. This here is, like, completely overhauled. This is gone right here, and... Yeah, no of walls. You can't really go back on either of these walls. That's not that great. You've got a nice blast wall for more defense. The big, big cars are gone. And this block, is this completely unkable? It's completely unkable. And you can't make the jump up there. There's this block right here, but that's literally it, man. Okay, what in the heck is this? There's an inkable block in the middle now, so that gives you a bit more cover, which is nice. Mid's actually slightly widened. That's not a bad thing. The sections that we got to be inkable past to make it easier for some things. These blocks are raised up now, so they're, they're too high now. There's a massive cube that looks like Wally crushed together and just stacked in the middle with like a claw. That's what it's meant to be. Well, I am greatly disappointed with how this is. I really thought we would have had this section connected here and then this be at least a way to jump back up here and maybe up there. Like if it was a bit over here and it was inkable, you could squirt wall up into this. But no, you can't even take this, and you can't even jump across. Not even the top of that is inkable, which I think honestly needs to be the case. Like, yeah, this middle section allows you to just get up here much easier now, which is nice, but it doesn't make it much better. There's also a weird block here as well, which is interesting. And there's no cube here as well. That's kind of dumb. They removed this entire section. He had actually removed this, which is horrible, actually. I thought they would have extended it out, but no, just not the case. I think that, oh, okay, they also, they also thickened this wall up a bit. Like, they're nice. It makes the stage a little bit better. Definitely be better than what I could consider E-Tail. But this is just, it's, it's so underwhelming, man. I thought we could finally get, like, round all this section here. We can finally get us near it there. My prediction was completely wrong. This is really disappointing, but I'm still gonna give a rating, just like I did with my Mahi video. And honestly, these were works. Not that great, so I'm giving this an easy 3 out of 10. For what everyone was expecting this stage to actually get from its reworks, and for what I personally expected, I'm giving the stage a 3 out of 10 in terms of the reworks. This is just not the greatest, man. Alright, zones, what has been changed? Orange looks to be the same, this entire area is the same. I think it's all the same, actually. Zones, the same size, actually, yeah. I thought the zone was going to be a bit bigger, but no. It's slightly wider, you can actually kind of get around the zone now. Oh, no. And I think that's the only change that has really happened. This block's still unkable. Can't go back here, that... Like, this whole section back here is kind of whatever. I don't know, man. I think it's still a 3. This is still a 3. I think it's actually a 2 out of 10, honestly, if I had to say. 2 out of 10. There's no way to get around the zone. You drop down here, you're done for it. Granted, if you go over here, there's more cover here. And you can use it as, like, an area to defend from. But with, like, these TVs and screens and whatnot, using this big stack. But you can't get back. Yeah, 2 out of 10. I'm giving it a 2 out of 10. I have to, I'm going to play all these modes a bit later on. But... It's just... They're so bad. TC, you're up next. Okay, so on Dark Control, this block is gone here for defense. That's already a kind of bad start. Terra circles over the grates. Stops in the, almost the same place. Is that a bit further back? 
I think it's a bit further back. Second checkpoint is very far away over here. You can kind of defend the tower if you're, if you're prepared and you're staying right here. Um, that's kind of it. This section's been widened, I think, as well. Just a little bit. And you can defend a bit easier from here. So, honestly, I think this is a bit better. Because we extended a great platform there. That's actually pretty cool. So, it makes it easier for the players to jump on top, which is neat. Gives you a way to control this area. Then come over here, and then if you get close enough, you can just jump up here, you can control this area. So that's also a neat jump. And then we get to this last checkpoint, same as the second checkpoint, you can jump up top of the truck. And you can control this area if, if, if you get too close, and the enemy's not defending, or the team's not defending. And, yeah, once this is it, once that's it, just steamrolls straight to the finishing post. Honestly, compared to the other two modes we've done so far, this is definitely a step up to some degree. It's a little bit. Just a tiny bit. I'm gonna give it a 5 out of 10, just because it's a tiny bit better. There's more defensive cover here to kind of deal with this checkpoint instead of being on that one single plat and you're forced to kind of either look up here or look over there. You have a third option to kind of sit here. Either you can go back here, um, closer weapons can go over here, and you can have someone in the middle that's just shooting a tower, defending it from the great jump that's right here. So yeah, TC. 5 out of 10, honestly. It isn't half bad. But, could certainly have been better. Alright, Remaker, how have you been messed up with? There's a ramp here, of course, the same as before. This is a new addition. This is actually not that bad. It gives you a bit easier cover, actually. This actually gives this route a little more viability, and you can just kind of run across here with it. Checkpoint's a bit further back. And this is flattened out now to make it... Oh, well, still a Remaker jump to go from here to here once it's down. But that's that. There's also a weird inkable block, or uninkable here, that's just kind of sitting there. Oh, there's an inkable block here. That's interesting. Dude, that's not a bad thing. Just can't go like that Splatoon 2 Sturgeon feel. That's not bad, actually. And it's inkable on all sides, so you can actually go up here and you can get on top of the truck like this. That's actually a pretty good addition. I think that's not bad. There's a block here, actually. Can we make the jump? No, of course not. Why would we be able to do it? This is damn mince me metalworks. This is Splatoon 3 we're talking about. There's no such thing as inkable walls. You can go left side. Which, honestly, is still probably not worth going. But, considering how that's got more defense now... Is that angle wall, actually? Hold on. It is! Okay, that's not really bad. So you can do this. I'm pretty sure you can jump the checkpoint, even when it's down below. Yeah, so that's not bad. So even if it was painted, you can still get the Rainmaker like this, and you can break it. And even if you couldn't make it, you can still run up this side. Which is not bad. The right side was already good, and this left side could be better. It's a bit of a small change. It's in on all sides. Yeah, it's an all sides. It's a small change, but it does give you like the ability to go for a few more points. And it makes it maybe just a little bit easier to run this side. And obviously the jump's still here, you can go run this side. This actually has like a decent reason to run this side now. Um, if you're not able to go up that direction. If someone's like sitting up here, like guarding this section, you can run down onto the grey and you can get a few more points. Remaker definitely seems like it'll be a lot better. Like, out of all of them so far. Don't know about Clan Blitz, but we're gonna get to that in a second. I think Rainmaker is a solid 6 out of 10, actually. It, well, actually, no, I'll make a 5 out of 10. It's just, just like DC, it's a 5 out of 10. It could be definitely better, but, like, it's okay. There's not too much to say about it. The right side's a tiny bit better, especially with that extra route. The left side, also a tiny bit better. Not as good as I want it to be, but I'm still gonna give it a 5 out of 10. Purely because of some extra routes, like that block there with the extension up there. That far right side, and yeah, I'm just kind of that. All right, Glam Blitz, what do you have for us? This ramp's back, which is pretty nice. This basket's been moved back a little bit? I think it's moved back a tiny bit. Yeah, the ramp's going here as well. There is a ramp here now. This is actually pretty different. You used to be I have a block here, and you would like scribble onto it. But now there's a ramp here, and you can just shimmy up. So do you know what? This is an improvement. Like, on this stage, something like Kraken would really, really struggle. Like... You can not get up on top of that. You can go across the grate. You can, you can go up on top of the block. You can, you can squibble. You can get shot down. Now you can actually travel up here and you can threaten this area. But that also means cracking cheese is a thing. This a couple block here is back, which is pretty nice. And so is the pole. So if you have this area to have, can you make it? Yeah, you can. So that's not bad. Wait. That's a stack of five clams. Hold up. The clam distribution is like very much like large on the stage. Like, going right side has got a lot of clams. So yeah, that's Clam Blitz. Don't think it's too much better than what it was. Still probably gonna get like a 4 out of 10. It's a little worse than Rainmaker. Mainly because that the lack of that ramp to go up from behind and all that. 
Why even that angle wall there, man? For reworks, after seeing the Mahi reworks, I was sure that we would get something good, like an extra extension over there, the jump that was going to go from A to B to C, to get back and forth across this entire section, even to go up and behind, all the way over there with the ramp. Nothing. No, this stage just doesn't really have anything to say to his name, which is really upsetting. But yeah, final ratings that I can pretty much give it. Mince Meat Metalworks, still bad. So yeah, Mince Meat is still pretty bad. Even an entire rework isn't enough to save the stage from bottom tier. Hopefully we get more updates that bring the stage to a proper playable state in the future. Until then, guess we're stuck with Paul Mince Meat. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.